So we've yet to have the baby, which means it's time to get into this terrible kitchen. Let me explain. One of the top priorities for us is storage. And as you can see, we're using this beautiful Ikea shelf that Sarah's had since college. This has got to go. I absolutely hate the color red. That wall is red and these cabinets are damn near red. They also don't have door pulls, so they got to go. It's got to go. It's got to go. So whatever schmuck built this house put a bathroom off of the kitchen. This is where we store all of our pans. We have this super weird bulkhead that we don't think has any duct work in it. I've got this nice tiny little cabinet over here under where we put our stand mixer. But for the most part, what we're trying to do is make this place a little bit more efficient. We have food stored literally everywhere. So we're gonna make a custom pantry. We're going to do custom cabinetry over on this wall. We'll do a nice full length base cabinet over here with a trash can holder and some upper storage to get this clutter fixed. And then we're gonna pour a concrete countertop in place, which should be pretty cool. All in all, we've got a lot of work and my wife is 37 and a half weeks pregnant, which means we need to get humping. Let's go. So to save time and a little bit of coin, we are going to cut all of our carcass parts on the CNC. Jordan has been doing a phenomenal job of learning how to use the software called Mosaic that literally just spews out all of the parts into nice fancy cut lists. So that way Sam and I can start slapping stuff together. Whole point here is to go as fast as we possibly can because that baby, she's coming in hot. Let's fire up Miss Piggy. Ready? Yeah, you don't need me for shit. Okay. Uh -huh. While Jordan's running the CNC, getting all the parts made, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them together. We'll just assembly and line our way through it. It's gonna get confusing quick. There's a lot of cabinets. There's a lot of cabinets. So all the cabinets are more or less the same. Tips here on how to put cabinets together. If you've cut all the pieces, glue and pin nail everything together first, and then come back and put screws in. That way you have the cabinets together, kind of all squared up, ready to go, before you really lock it in. Put some glue on that, line this up, take your nail gun. Take this other side, do the same thing. For the toe kick and underneath supports, use pocket holes. Think about which way you'll see the cabinet and hide them on the inside where you won't see it. I like to put a little glue on them to kind of help lock everything together. John doesn't seem to do that as often. When I said something to him earlier, he said, I don't need glue. Glue it or don't. Proud of yourself, Jordan? I told the computer what to do, so. I've told the computer what to do a couple of times, but it's been wrong. We won't know until the computer gets installed. All right, you heard it here, folks. Real quick, while the boys are ripping through this project, I wanna take a minute to thank our sponsor, Woodcraft. Woodcraft has stores all over the United States. You can pretty much get anything you need when it comes to woodworking. I got a link down in the description if you guys wanna look for your local Woodcraft or buy something online, but pretty much anything we're using here in the shop, you could probably get it there. Check them out. Thank you, Woodcraft, for supporting all of the chaos. Now, let's get back to watching these two dominate. After we have the whole thing assembled, glued, and nailed together, we're gonna to come back and screw it together. We're gonna to use one of these guys. Put two holes for each thing and then maybe three or four down along the bottom. A couple inch and a quarter screws and she done. Man. Hey brother. Hell yeah brother. It's a regular old cabinet factory around here. I don't want to do this anymore. Well tough titties Jordan, keep working. We were supposed to have these done. Forgot. Jordan pointed out a very important tip that he taught me. So this is a tip from NS Builders. Are these actually called skitters? Uh, that's what I call them. All right, so skitters. Take some scrap cutoffs, and all you do, a couple nails. You got your skitters on the bottom of the lower. Now, when you're dragging them around your shop, it rides on those scrap pieces of plywood, and you don't ruin them. Sam did a good job playing the cabinets guy. I just had no instructions and I was just kind of guessing. But so kind of like Ikea furniture. They look like cabinets. And they kind of look like the ones in the picture that Jordan gave me. Now, you gotta cut back panels for them. Spray them and then party. All right, let's cut some plywood. Guys, someone sent Jordan and I space helmets so we can be like John. It looks like Dale's drum set in here with all these cabinets. Let us spray. Jordan 
is continuing to dominate using Mosaic. He's got a killer cut list here. We're gonna get all the parts for the face frames, the doors, and the drawer fronts. We got these all pre-ripped to make it faster on us. Let's rip! Yeah, they're already ripped. Let's chop! Where the hell are the cab numbers? Why did you waste all this paper then? They're not, they don't actually say one on them anyway. This is one, two. My goodness. <laughs> Very on my way, he would say. Well, you know, just following Jordan's directions here with the center rail, that doesn't fit. Now, it might be for a different one. Could it be design aesthetic? He could have put number two or number one incorrectly. We will is find it out. Possible none of us know how to do it. It's very possible the two of you don't know how to do it. That explains it. Go to Freshy. First friend, first problem. He's doing all right. There was only 2,000 pieces. We'll see how many mistakes he actually made. Monday morning, on Friday we finished assembling the face frames for John's kitchen, and now it is time to take cabinets that we sprayed and the face frames that we glued and combine them. Make a baby. No. Cook it up love. I'm gonna go get a biscuit joiner. I made an eighth inch spacer, which then I double-sided blue tape tricked to the joiner. So now I'll use it with the spacer to cut into the cabinet, and then I'll take the spacer off, cut into the face frame, and everything will line up, giving us that perfect offset, I think. Pray for us. Now that we have slots in the cabinet carcass, the actual location of the biscuits doesn't matter as long as our depth is set right. And we're in the ballpark, so I can just do three randomly on each side, and then we just glue it together. Look at you. Look, Mom, I did it. It's gonna work. Once you've dry fit it and proved that you're not an idiot and that all the holes line up, is you take your biscuits, I wish they were edible, I'm quite hungry, and we're going to glue them into the face frame where you have the individual holes and then let that set up for just a little bit so that they hold and then we'll glue it into the long grooves on the cabinet. <laughs> Kidding me, Jordan? Let one fly like that? You're a clamp. Clamper, I barely knew her. Exciting stuff here, huh? People pay big money to see this. Do they? Show the people what we've done. I was really hoping to get these things finished yesterday. I ran out of clamps last night, so I decided to just wait. We're doing okay on the schedule, so I figured it was no rush to just wait until today to do them. I'm gonna glue these last two up now. The CNC got a little wonky in a couple of spots. I left these little high spots, so I've just been flattening them out a little bit, and that seems to be working pretty good. longer ones, it's really hard to get a biscuit lined up with the wider top piece on the face frame. So I'm going to pocket hole them from the top. You'll never see it because it'll be on top of the cabinet. We've got the little pocket holder clamper on. Just do a couple of pocket holes to help us get this thing aligned. Uh. Did that hurt? Ow. So the baby's gonna be here literally any day now, which means I need to tend to new dad kind of stuff. So the guys are gonna keep ripping through the cabinets and such. We've got door fronts, drawer fronts, drawers finished. A lot of work to still be done. We'll catch you on the next video. And I got one queued up for you right here if you want to follow along.